are dirty? Well, today I'm going to fix that. First, what you want to do is grab a bowl. It doesn't matter if it's clean or dirty. What you want to do is you want to fill that up with water, and then you want to go over to your freezer, get your uh, chicken breast, and you want to put that in the water and let it thaw for about 20 minutes. And while you're waiting for that to thaw, what we're going to do is we're going to cut up some nice vegetables. All right, so if you kids are like me, you only have a couple scraps in your and your friends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if we have any scraps. Uh, right here we have a bell pepper. The fat will go nice with our chicken. We have half a lemon. This will be good. And we have some onions. This will give it nice flavor. And then we have some mushrooms. That will go really good and it will be healthy for your body. And then we have two potatoes. And we're going to need these to kind of make our chicken taste really good. And that. Alright, so now what you're going to need is some seasonings. So what I have right here is salt and pepper and some olive oil. And then next we have some spices. You don't have to have these, but it gives the chicken nice flavor. And you can add them if you want to, but you don't need them. And then the last, our last ingredient will be our garlic. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice up our vegetables. So first what you wanna do is you wanna slice up your potatoes about a quarter of an inch thick. And uh, with that, you're gonna have about slices this big. And then you wanna slice off your bell peppers about this size. Then you wanna slice off a nice thin lemon wedge and that'll be good. And then for your garlic, what you wanna do is you wanna cut off each end. And then after that, you want to put your knife over your garlic and then smash the knife onto the garlic. And what this does is it removes the skin from your garlic and really easily. And from here, you'll be able to dice it up really nice and clean. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our now thawed out chicken and we're going to slide that onto the middle of this tin bowl. And I've gone ahead and I've diced up all my vegetables. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our potatoes and we're just going to kind of spread them around. And then we're going to take our bell peppers and we're going to spread these around as well. And then we're going to take our onions to give the chicken really nice flavor. And we're going to take our mushrooms and we're going to spread this along the whole thing. Then we're going to take our oil and you only need a little bit of it. And what you want to do is you want to kind of drizzle it over the top. And then you want to take your spice. It doesn't have to be this. It can be any other kind that you want. Just kind of spread that all around the vegetables and the chicken. Same with this one. It could You don't have to add to, but it tastes better with two. Then you want to take your pepper and spread that all around it. And then you want to take your salt and put it in your, put it in your palm. And then you want to kind of pinch it and kind of spread it all around the meat and uh, that will do good and then you want to fold the chicken and the vegetables up in the tin foil and after that you want to go wait we forgot our key ingredient we forgot our garlic and this you want to put just a little bit on each end of it then you want to take your lemon and you want to put it in your lemon squeezer Put it upside down so that you get the most juice, and then you want to spread this all around it. And then you want to take your other lemon slice and you want to put it nice right on top of it to add the best flavor. Then when you fold it up, you want to fold up each corner so that it doesn't leave juices while you're cooking it. And then you want to come over here and you want to preheat your oven to 425. And now, while that's um, uh, preheating, we're going to go play Fortnite. Alright, now that we have our oven preheated and our meal ready, what we're going to do so we're going to open up our oven and we're going to put our meal in there and we're going to go to our timer and we're going to set it for 40 minutes. 
And while we're waiting for that 40 minutes, we're gonna go play Fortnite and we're gonna get them wins. We're gonna get them extra tiers so that we can get the orange justice and it's gonna be perfect. So let's go do that right now. All right, now that our meal is done, what we're gonna go ahead and do is take it out of the oven. So now make sure you wear pads because we don't want anybody hurting themselves out there. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to peel all this tin foil back and look at our beautiful meal. Mmm. Looks delicious. Let's go ahead and cut into that. Mmm. So juicer, some candy, and perfect meal. It's great for one person, and maybe two if it's two small people. But anyways, my name is Kid Chef, and this is the Tin Foil Meal. Stay tuned for next time when it's going to be Taco Tuesday.